Find an equation where the level surface of g of x, y, and z equals the square root of x squared plus 2y squared plus 4z squared that passes through the point 2, 2, 1. Then we're supposed to sketch the surface. Well, right away I need to figure out what level surface I'm thinking about. Level surfaces are surfaces in the domain of a function on three variables on which we take on a constant value. Well, if I'm going to go through the point 2, 2, 1, then I need to find out what value of the function happens at 2, 2, 1. Uh, 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and then I just get a, another 4, let's see, 12, 16, 4. The level surface I'm supposed to sketch is the one where the function is equal to 4. So I get 4 equals the square root of x squared plus 2y squared plus 4z squared. I square both sides. Just to make the formula a little easier, all of my w's are going to be positive coming out of that square root, so no harm in squaring both sides. If I divide all of the terms by 16, I find out that my level surface is an ellipsoid. So I'm just going to sketch an ellipsoid. We'll see how successfully I do it. I usually like to draw whatever I'm drawing first and then put in the axes, but since I need a scale here, right, because I can identify the lengths of the respective axes, uh, I'm going to try to put my axes in first and even indicate a scale before I start my graph. I didn't practice this before the video, so we're just going to see how this goes this time. And whether it's good or not, we're just going to let it, let it work. Because we all know what an ellipsoid looks like. Being one of the quadric surfaces we met way back in <laughs> chapter 12. Alright, so in the x direction I need to go that way 4 and that way 4. If I thought about an ellipse, right, let z equal 0, the ellipse in the x, y plane, then I have a major axis that would have a length of 8, and a minor axis that would have a length of 4 times the square root of 2. I need to know the square root of 8, which is 2 root 2, which will be about 2.8. So I need to go this way about 2.8, and this way about 2.8. And that ellipse um, in the x, y plane, kind of like the equator of this ellipsoid, or like the center stitching on a football. In the z direction, I need to go up to and down to, and that's always the direction I have a hard time sketching when I draw an ellipsoid like this, right? Because I come down here and it's underneath other parts of it. But there's my ellipsoid. It looks like a football, and I got the dimensions just from looking at the equation. The most important idea, this point tells me the constant value that I'm setting my function equal to by evaluating the function.